this is Kathy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today, I'm very happy because I'll be making something that I've been wanting to make for a little while now. I'm going to make sushi bake. Yay! And I have here Daddy. Hi, Dad. He's beside me. He's just playing Dota. And I'm going to make sushi bake today. So this is going to be a very easy recipe. If you want to know how I'll be making it, please stay tuned and watch the video. I have here all our ingredients ready for our sushi bake. So we have cani or the imitation crab. We have quick melt, nori sheets. I have here some scrambled egg rice. We don't have rice wine vinegar so I'm going to use apple cider instead wasabi mayonnaise I have cucumber and mangoes and also the utensils that we will be needing to make the sushi bake so the first thing that I'll have to do is to prepare the rice so I have here a tablespoon and we'll need to measure a tablespoon of the vinegar apple cider vinegar and then I have here a teaspoon of sugar and then a teaspoon of salt. And then I'll just mix this. And once the sugar and the salt has been dissolved, then we can add it to our cooked rice. So for our rice today, I did not use Japanese rice, but instead, I used the Doña Conchita, the one in orange sack, because just like if you have watched my video, the California Maki video that I made in this channel, um, I also used the same rice. I also used Doña Conchita rice in orange sack for that because I can guarantee that it's really very sticky it's almost as sticky as the one that's being used in sushis and makis so if you don't have japanese rice or because japanese rice is very costly you can use doña conchita in orange sack as an alternative so i have here about four or five cups of rice and i'm just going to add our vinegar and then we'll have to mix this properly So in the original recipe of the sushi bake, um, we're supposed to use furikake but I don't have it and it's not readily accessible and we cannot go to Japanese stores. We're far from Japanese stores right now. So I tried to search about it and it's actually a rice seasoning. It's composed of dried seaweed. Um, sesame seeds and some dried fish so I don't have that so I also tried to search for the substitute so it says there that a substitute we can have cut or stripped nori or crushed nori or the seaweed so that's what I'm going to do today so I have this um, nori sheet and this is already roasted and seasoned so this will be our substitute for the furikake so what i will be doing is i will just be crushing these nori wraps and this is what we will be adding into our recipe you can also use a food processor i think if you have that but i'll just be doing this manually by hand and I washed my hands already, so it's okay. So there, I think this furikake substitute is now ready. So this is just our crushed nori. So I want to put a little of this in our rice. So we'll mix this together with our rice. Mm. 
over there. And we'll go mix. So we have here our rice and it's now ready but we'll just put this aside for now and we will be of course um, assembling later this rice together with the topping that we will be making. So I went ahead and prepared our cucumber and I just cut them thinly into like small squares and then I'll also do the same for our mangoes. So for our mangoes I'll just do the same thing and I'll scoop this with a spoon there we'll just set this aside as well so here I have a big pack of crab meat and I think I'll only be needing half of it. And I'll just quickly show you how I'm going to prepare our crab meat. So you just have to remove the peel. So what I will do next, I'll just cut it into half. And now I'll go ahead and shred our crab meat. So I have here another bowl and just shred our crab meat here. Our crab meat's ready. Now we'll put the rest of the ingredients. So now we're going to add mayonnaise into our crab meat. I don't have the Japanese mayo, but that's fine. I'm just trying to find substitutes of what are easily accessible. So I have this brand for my mayonnaise. And I'll add about two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight tablespoons of mayonnaise. And also I have here about one third of the small box of quick melt I'm go I'm also going to add this in and we'll just have to mix this again so I think this is a little too dry for me pa so I'll add about two more tablespoons of mayonnaise makes a lot of difference so into our crab meat mixture I'd like to add just a little bit of wasabi just for scent and extra flavor but this much is not enough to make our sushi bake spicy yeah, 
add just around this much and mix that with everything else so I have my crab meat mixture now ready and also the rice so it's time for us to layer or to build our sushi bake into our pan that we will be baking or putting in the oven later so this is the pan that I will be using and just put our rice in So there's a lot of rice because we're rice eaters and we just want a lot of rice into our sushi bake. But that actually depends on you if you want a lot of rice in your sushi bake. You can just also use like um, a smaller portion of rice if you don't want too much rice in your sushi bake. So I actually prepared egg, cucumbers, and mangoes because I will be showing three different kinds of flavors into my sushi bake. So one, I will be doing just the plain rice and crab meat toppings. Um, the other one, I will be putting egg. And the third one, I will be putting cucumber and mangoes so it's like California Maki inspired because that's mine and Jared's favorite. So for this side I'll be putting eggs. So this is just scrambled eggs guys. Unflavored scrambled eggs. We just did that quickly earlier in the pan. This is unseasoned. So it's your choice if you want to put eggs or if you want to put mangoes and cucumbers or if you just want to just have sushi bake. I mean, you just want to do the rice and the topping. So it's up to you. Now on the other side, I will be putting the cucumber and the mangoes for our California Maki inspired sushi bake. There. And now let's put our crab meat topping. So there it's ready now we'll just have to put the crushed seaweed our furikake substitute we just put that on top because we don't have furikake guys and you can always find ways to find alternatives you know so we will know which part is the mac inspired and the tamago or with the egg I actually just left I know small bits of egg that I can put on the top so that we will know we will not be confused later kung saan yung egg part and the California Maki part that we made. We'll just put everything on top just use everything up 
So guys, I don't have Japanese mayo. So what I did is I just put the mayonnaise inside the piping bag. So nilagay ko siya sa piping bag and I will just do this. So we still have our there. Beautiful swirls on top. There. So parang so it looks legit. <laughs> there you go guys. Now I'll go ahead and have this baked. So once it's melted or browned at the top, then I think it's ready for us to get it out of the oven. A few moments later. So this just came out of the oven, guys. And we're ready to do taste test. So it's very hot, for guys. It just came out of the oven and we're ready to taste your sushi bake. I'm so excited. But it's really hot. So this one's with the egg. This one's just the rice and the topping, the crab meat topping. And this one's with the mangoes and cucumber. So let's try this first. This one's with the egg. I want it spicy. So I want with mangoes, guys. So I'll try this side. Sure, we have mangoes and cucumber. Oh. It's still like smoking hot. Just a little bit. Yeah, but just that much. because he's playing Dota. So let's just forgive him. I like to try this. This, this one's with the uh, mango and cucumber dad. You want Tabasco or you want wasabi? Tabasco. Tabasco. The one's with Tabasco. So I did not make our sushi bake spicy guys because Jara doesn't want spicy food. So 
we will just add the Tabasco or the wasabi separately lang if you want it spicy. I'm going to try the side with egg. I haven't tried this. Now to try to put Tabasco. with the basco. Mm. It's also good with the basco, but I like the wasabi scent better. So I like it more with the wasabi. I'm going to try with the wasabi then. We'll be preparing anything for dinner, guys. This will be our dinner now. Right, Dad? For it? Yeah. It's dinner now. So that's Daddy's sushi bake with egg and wasabi. Mm. Mm. Should I like better? Wasabi or the? Wasabi. Wasabi, no? Mm. It smells good. Daddy also likes the sushi bake with the wasabi. So if you have wasabi, you can try it, guys. The sushi bake is making me so happy. I'm one happy pregnant woman. Very happy guys, so like no joke, it's so delicious. Very simple. Ingredients are all like something you can find in the supermarket. You don't need to like look for those. I mean, yes, um the Japanese mayo and the furikake, I think they will make a lot of difference if you have those ingredients. But if you don't you can just use the regular mayonnaise, the crushed nori for your furikake, and it still tastes so good. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something today. And if you like this video, I hope you could give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel. Hit on the notification bell so that you will be notified of our future uploads. So, thank you and see you in the next one. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Do you like it? Yeah. No? Yeah. Mm. He doesn't like it, Mom. We'll give it to the sweet children. I like it. Another one? It's mm. <coughs> my last one. What is it? Plenty Tabasco.